Callaway County authorities say that jail escapee McVitie's body was found here in a home on Primrose Lane just outside of Fulton after a standoff began Wednesday afternoon. Now, Chisholm says this is being considered a death investigation and that the toxicology report could take anywhere from six to eight weeks. I'm here in Columbia, Missouri, and we have reached 100% totality just within the last 15 to 30 seconds. Now, the Missouri Department of Transportation says that they take a lot of precautions to keep their employees safe when they have to come out here and clear the roadway. Here we go. We see President Trump making his way off of Air Force One here to Springfield, Missouri. We see uh, Senator Roy Blunt right behind, right next to him. We're going to zoom in on President Donald Trump and Roy Blunt as they decline and make their way off of Air Force One. It's still slick outside and with a chance of snow tomorrow, many people are going to head out tonight and salt their driveways and walkways like this salt on the ground here. I'm here with Rachel and Mallory. They are two of 70 Clydesdales here at the Warm Springs Ranch. Now 11 foals have already been born this season. Two people were found fatally shot and killed here. Now the reports came in just after midnight. A male victim is recovering from multiple gunshot wounds wounds after being shot during a home invasion. Filling up this arena isn't the only way this team is igniting the economy. Tourism and merchandise businesses both say they expect to see an influx in sales. Glad it's over with. A home no more. A low level EF1 tornado is leaving homeowners in Max Creek with devastation and some without a home. It was just loud and then it got louder and the louder part must have been when this house, well, you can tell what happened to this house. The mobile home is in pieces and unrecognizable debris is spread across the yard. Now this tree was uprooted in the backyard of this destroyed mobile home. Luckily, there were no injuries. The owner of the mobile home is staying with family. It just kind of scares you because you know, it could have been me and my kids. We have a trailer and this was just right on the other side through the woods from us. Max Creek isn't the only lake town feeling the effects of the storm. A tree is the new centerpiece of one man's house in Rocky Mount. The owner says he could have easily been hurt, but was able to get away in time. The silver lining? Friends and family can breathe a sigh of relief after rescuing two pet goats from the destroyed Max Creek mobile home. The goats were trapped under the debris and after 20 minutes were rescued unharmed. In Mid-Missouri, Kaylee Peterson, KRCG 13.